to my channel. I'm so happy you're here today. It's Tuesday, which means I'm in the kitchen sharing a recipe that my family loves with you guys. And you don't have to take notes. Everything is located down in the show notes as well as on our new website, which is also linked down below where you can print off today's recipes. Um, this is really just to kind of walk you through and maybe help you if you're a new cook or if you'd like seeing me do it on camera. Um, tonight for dinner, we're having our mushroom stroganoff recipe, which came out a couple months ago um, early in the fall for our private membership group. And everyone loved it. I personally love this recipe because I can sneak in a good amount of mushrooms without... I'm not a huge mushroom lover, so mushroom stroganoff, you know, it's in the title. Um, but it just hides it really well, so if you're not a huge mushroom fan, don't just, you know, X this one out, give it a try. My husband is also not a mushroom fan, but we both love this dish. So, it's really simple. We're just going to kind of jump into it. Um, in the recipe, I also have how to make this in your Instant Pot and in a slow cooker. So if you are busy and you have those gadgets, um, you definitely, or appliances, you definitely can make this in the Instant Pot and the slow cooker. You'll just want to look at the bottom of the directions. We're just going to make it on the stove top just in case you don't have those appliances. Um, I'm all about being you know, I try to be as accommodating as possible for this group, and so um, I'm just going to make it right on our, we have an induction top here that I just use for these cooking classes, but you can make it on your stove as I'm doing. Um, so again, you can head over down to our website, which is all linked down below, print off the recipes so you have them. We also added grams to our recipes, so I hope that's helpful as well for you guys. Um, so again, head over there. All right, so we're gonna get started. So there's only a couple things that you need for this recipe. It's a pretty small amount of, of items. The only thing you have to make ahead of it is um, have a little bit of our sour cream on hand. This dish is amazing, but it just comes to a whole different level if you take one fourth cup of our sour cream recipe and stir it in at the end. So go ahead and I will link it up above right now for you guys to watch that video but you also can go just straight to the recipe. I've included it there for you. You just wanna have that ready to go in the refrigerator so you can pull it out and stir it in towards the end of the recipe. So just have the sour cream ready to go. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna go up next. I have five ounces of raw mushrooms chopped. It can be any mushrooms that you enjoy. I have half a cup of raw onions. I have three cups of vegetable broth. I have eight ounces of pasta, uncooked. Now you can use a bean pasta or a whole wheat pasta or a gluten-free pasta, whatever you like. Again, it's around eight ounces. I have two cloves of garlic minced. I have a tablespoon of nutritional yeast, two teaspoons of dried parsley, a teaspoon of lemon juice, and one fourth teaspoon of black pepper. This all is gonna turn into the most amazing creamy mushroom stroganoff you've ever had. And this is a great one for testing it out for people that are not plant-based or people that are dabbling or just if you love mushroom stroganoff. All right, let's dive into it. So over in our stove top, we're gonna add in all of our ingredients except for the pasta and of course that sour cream that you made ahead of time. So in goes my vegetable broth. Really easy. And this is gonna make it a thick, creamy mushroom stroganoff, which I love. We have our mushrooms. I also love this recipe because it's just like dump and go. So if you're busy, like the school year for me, you guys know I teach, um, I'm a teacher. And so I need recipes that are quick that I can teach you guys that are quick when life just gets a little crazy. Some garlic, some nutritional yeast, our dried parsley, black pepper, we're just moving and grooving and some lemon juice. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna let this simmer for around 10 minutes. So we're gonna bring it up to heat. I'm gonna turn this guy on. Let it simmer. When it, you can turn it down off high heat once it's simmering, but we're gonna let it cook for around 10 minutes. After that 10 minutes, we're gonna go ahead and add the dried pasta in. Then you're gonna cook it for however long it takes your pasta to cook. Now those cook times will vary if you're doing a bean pasta, gluten-free pasta or whole wheat. So around um, 10 more minutes, might be a little bit less, a little bit more. 
When your pasta is finely cooked, we're just going to turn off the heat. We are going to add in the sour cream and dinner is done. Now, there isn't a ton of greens, of course, in this recipe. Um, dried parsley doesn't really count towards my green count of the day. So what I like to do is I like to serve this with a big salad or you can add in some kale or spinach or whatever you want at the end as well. Um, just remember to make sure you get those greens in. All right. I will see you guys in 10 minutes once this is kind of simmering, then we'll add the pasta. And like I said, this recipe is so easy and if you want to make it in an instant pot or a slow cooker, you definitely can do that. After 10 minutes, you should see that your onions are translucent, your mushrooms are nice and softened, everything smells amazing, it's really nicely blended together the flavors. We can go ahead and add the pasta around eight ounces. Again, if it's a bean pasta or a whole wheat pasta or a gluten-free pasta, just check the directions on the back of the packaging to make sure you're not gonna overcook it or undercook it. Really, whenever your pasta is cooked, this next part is done. Um, you just wanna keep an eye on it. Gummy pasta is the worst, so follow the directions on your packet. The vegetable broth and everything really works to make a beautiful sauce and it cooks down. So I'm just dumping this in, give it a nice, you know, a nice blended swirl so that everything is coated with liquid. Blended swirl, that should be a new cooking term, right? Um, it'll be enough liquid and everything, again, cooks down to make this beautiful creamy sauce. The last step after the pasta is done is just to add the sour cream and dinner is done. So at this point, when I have about, you know, eight to 10 minutes or so, and I like to stir it every once in a while just to make sure nothing's sticking. But I head over and I make a big chopped salad for dinner. So I'm going to go work on this salad. I will see you guys when it's ready to assemble. This is such an easy, quick dinner. And I know the entire family is going to love it. So those are all of my goals when we make recipes. This one is so good. I really hope you guys try it. So I will see you guys when it's done. After your pasta is done cooking, again, you just want to keep an eye on it, stir it occasionally. You should be able to take a piece out and check your pasta. That's usually what we do. Um, you'll notice that a lot of the liquid has cooked down. That's perfect. It's delicious. Now you can skip this next step, but it really does bring it to like the next level of a creamy mushroom stroganoff is to add a fourth of a cup of our sour cream. Just a little bit. It's not very much. I love this recipe. You can have it on hand, make it the day before. Really easy, it's just a little bit. And I'm just gonna stir it in. Um, I'm taking pictures along the way so you guys can see exactly what it looks like and posting them on the screen. So let me grab just a shot of what it looks. It's not very much at all, just a little bit. And you're just gonna stir it in and it just takes it to that creamy mushroom stroganoff that you are familiar with. And it is healthy, delicious, filling, looks amazing, stores great. Now this recipe makes for around four servings. So if you're a family of four, that's perfect. Um, you can of course double this recipe if you wanna do this in the slow cooker and double it, or in the Instant Pot, that's totally fine. Um, it's just such a crowd pleaser and I find myself especially wanting these comfort meals because it is so cold here in Pittsburgh this week. This is going to be perfect. I, again, I'm just taking pictures along the way for you guys. I can't wait to see what you guys make. Leave us a comment if you make this. Also, make sure you send us our, your pictures on Facebook or Instagram or send me an email. I love to see what you guys make, but let's go ahead and plate this. Oh my gosh, so creamy and delicious. So excited. Mark is gonna be thrilled when he gets home. Again, this is not, we're not like huge mushroom fans. I really have learned to sneak them into recipes, but this one we both adore. And I love that it's whole food plant-based and easy. I just made a chopped salad with some of my favorite dressing. Getting those greens in. Yum. 
and I have dinner. Easy, simple, delicious, creamy, perfect for those busy nights. Let me grab a fork, we'll do a taste test, and I know you guys are gonna love this one. Remember, you do not have to take notes. Check out the show notes down below, the recipe's there for you. I put it in a PDF and a Word document and just post it. So whichever way you want to use the recipe, if you are doing a recipe app, or if you're printing it, or however you want to get it, I try to be accommodating for everyone, but it's all down in the show notes for you. All right guys, let's give it a taste. We make this often, so I already know it's good. It makes like the most beautiful sauce, creamy, delicious, full flavor. Family's gonna love it. I hope you are subscribed. If not, make sure you subscribe right now. Stop what you're doing and subscribe. I make whole food plant-based recipes every week, twice a week. Our new dates are Tuesday and Saturday, so make sure you subscribe because we are coming out with a lemon blueberry mousse parfait kind of idea um, for Saturday that you don't want to miss. That's whole food plant-based, SOS free, delicious. The whole family is going to love it. I will see you guys on Saturday for the next one. Thanks so much for watching. Leave us a comment. See you later. Try it out. It is one of my favorite recipes.